You are listening to the Adult Sabbath School Lessons for the third quarter of 2022. This is lesson number nine of the Adult Sabbath School Bible Study Guide in the Crucible with Christ. The lesson is titled A Life of Praise and is ready for teaching on August 27. The author is Pastor Gavin Anthony, who was conference president in Iceland when he wrote this series of lessons. Today, your lesson is read by Dr. Percy Harold. Monday, August 22. Praying Down Walls There's an expression in English, to be painted into a corner. Imagine painting the floor of a room, but then realising that you have wound up in the corner and cannot get out, except by walking over the fresh paint. You have to stay there until it dries. Sometimes our faith seems to paint us into a corner. We arrive at a situation and, like the wet paint on the floor, our faith traps us. We look at the situation and either we have to reject God, faith and everything we have believed in, or our faith compels us to believe what appears impossible. God brought the Israelites to a corner. After they had wandered for 40 years in the wilderness, God did not lead his people to empty, peaceful grasslands. God led them to one of the most strongly fortified cities in the whole area. Then they had to walk around Jericho in silence for six days. On the seventh day, God told them to shout, and that shouting, together with the trumpets, would bring victory. Read Joshua chapter 5, verse 13, through to chapter 6, verse 20. What is God trying to teach the Israelites? Let's begin at Joshua 5, 13. And it came to pass, when Joshua was by Jericho, that he lifted his eyes and looked, and behold, a man stood opposite him with his sword drawn in his hand. And Joshua went to him and said to him, Are you for us or for our adversaries? So he said, No, but as commander of the army of the Lord I have now come. And Joshua fell on his face to the earth and worshipped and said to him, What does my Lord say to his servant? Then the commander of the Lord's army said to Joshua, Take your sandal off your foot, for the place where you stand is holy. And Joshua did so. Now Jericho was securely shut up because of the children of Israel. None went out, and none came in. And the Lord said to Joshua, See, I have given Jericho into your hand, its king, and the mighty men of valour. You shall march around the city... All you men of war, you shall go all around the city once. This you shall do six days, and seven priests shall bear seven trumpets of ram's horns before the ark. But the seventh day you shall march around the city seven times, and the priests shall blow the trumpets. It shall come to pass, when they make a long blast with the ram's horn, and when you hear the sound of the trumpet, that all the people shall shout with a great shout, Then the wall of the city will fall down flat, and the people shall go up every man straight before him. Then Joshua the son of Nun called the priests and said to them, Take up the Ark of the Covenant, and let seven priests bear seven trumpets of ram's horns before the Ark of the Lord. And he said to the people, Proceed and march around the city, and let him who is armed advance before the Ark of the Lord." So it was, when Joshua had spoken to the people, that the seven priests bearing the seven trumpets of ram's horns before the Lord advanced and blew the trumpets, and the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord followed them. The armed men went before the priests who blew the trumpets, and the rear guard came after the Ark, while the priests continued blowing the trumpets. Now Joshua had commanded the people, saying, You shall not shout or make any noise with your voice, nor shall a word proceed out of your mouth, until the day I say to you, Shout, then you shall shout. So he had the ark of the Lord circle the city, going around it once. Then they came into the camp and lodged in the camp. And Joshua rose early in the morning, and the priests took up the ark of the Lord. 
Then seven priests, bearing seven trumpets of ram's horns before the ark of the Lord, went on continually and blew with the trumpets, and the armed men went before them. But the rear guard came after the ark of the Lord, while the priests continued blowing the trumpets. And the second day they marched around the city once and returned to the camp. So they did six days. But it came to pass on the seventh day that they rose early, about the dawning of the day, and marched around the city seven times in the same manner. On that day only they marched around the city seven times. And the seventh time it happened, when the priests blew the trumpets, that Joshua said to the people, Shout, for the Lord has given you the city. Now the city shall be doomed by the Lord to destruction, it and all who are in it. Only Rahab the harlot shall live, she and all who are with her in the house, because she hid the messengers that we sent. And you by all means abstain from the accursed things, lest ye become accursed when you take of the accursed things, and make the camp of Israel a curse, and trouble it. But all the silver and gold and vessels of bronze and iron are consecrated to the Lord. They shall come into the treasury of the Lord. So the people shouted when the priests blew the trumpets, and it happened when the people heard the sound of the trumpet, and the people shouted with a great shout, that the wall fell down flat. Then the people went up into the city, every man straight before him, and they took the city. Shouting loudly was not going to cause vibrations to trigger the walls to collapse. When God called the Israelites to shout, it was the same type of shouting that David writes about in Psalm 66. Shout for joy to God, all the earth. Sing the glory of his name, make his praise glorious. This shouting was praise. After six days of looking at the huge walls, they must have concluded that they hadn't a chance of breaking them down themselves. How does this idea help us understand the meaning of Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 30? By faith, the walls of Jericho fell down after they were encircled for seven days. And so to finish the day, when God is on the verge of doing something new in our lives, he may bring us to a Jericho. For he may need to teach us that the power to triumph does not come in our own strength and strategies. Everything we need comes from outside of ourselves. So, no matter what is in front of us, no matter how insurmountable it may seem, our role is to praise God, the source of everything we need. This is faith in action. This lesson was read by Dr. Percy Harold for Christian Services for the Blind. Sponsored by the Sabbath School Department and distributed through Hope Channel Australia, this podcast is also redistributed by Hope Channel Germany, Christian Record Services for the Blind. It is also available on SoundCloud and through multiple podcast distributors, including Apple iTunes. And you can listen and watch at the same time on YouTube. Remember, God is always faithful.